The first level lasts four years. It is for children aged four to eight years of age. In many villages or in town there is a pedi bus. The pedi bus is a way for pupils to go to school on foot with other children. They are safely accompanied by adults and there are fixed meeting points. Ten minutes before and after school and during break, a teacher is present to supervise the children. The first two years at school, according to the system Harmus, are compulsory and are there to make the change from staying at home to going to school easier and to guide a child in its first experiences with school. During this important time, a child learns to be a pupil and parents grow into their role as parents of a pupil. A child develops its many abilities, also depending on who it is and what it knows. Self-sufficiency and learning to get along with people outside the family are the main skills that a child develops at the beginning of its time at school. So a child may begin school relaxed. It is important that it arrives well in time for lessons, so it has time to get ready. A reliable environment and clear rules are important at school as well as at home, so a child may develop well. Leonas muss auf das WC. Ist gut? Dann könnt ihr schon gerade gehen. Sehr gut, tipptopp. Aber langsam, langsam. Gut. Getting on together is learned by being in contact with others and is discussed in class. The teacher supports the children in becoming more self-sufficient in daily life. During the first two years at school, the children work on group projects on global subjects. The children learn the language spoken at school on all subjects. Additional teachers give language lessons to those children that do not yet speak the language spoken at school. During the full length of school education, the school encourages multilingualism. This allows children to get to understand other people and cultures through their languages. Thanks to various activities, pupils discover the different ways languages work. They make connections between them and also improve the understanding of their own language. At this age, as much at school as at home, games are important for developing skills and learning strategies and for learning how to get along in a group.
Et tu refais une fois, prends moi une fois. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 1, 1. The During the first and second harmas year at school, the child learns basic skills, such as recognizing letters, learning its first numbers, and some basic mathematics. Some activities particularly allow pupils to develop and express their creative side. <laughs> Movement and sports are also very important at school. There are swimming lessons at school. <laughs> the pupils of the first and second harmless year are in the same class. The timetable is adapted to the age of the children. The teacher informs the parents of the exact timetable before the beginning of the school year. Pupils of the first harmless year start off with 12 to 14 lessons over four to five half days a week. When the lessons are depends on the village or town where the school is, as timetables are different from place to place. The caregivers at daycare outside school are there for the children in the morning before school begins, at lunchtime and after school. Children may also go to daycare on the half days they are not at school. This service, that you need to register for, is provided by the local village or town and has to be paid for. As from the third harvest year, the system of assessment changes. The progress of a child is now assessed separately on every subject. Such as the language spoken at school, mathematics and natural sciences, visual arts, body and movement, or human and social sciences. The learning progress a child makes is regularly reported to its parents. During the first school level, the pupils discover reading and writing by varying methods and situations that emphasize the pleasure of learning, leading to motivation and success. In class, the pupils discover how speech and writing are related and learn to be at ease with reading and writing. third and fourth harmless school year, in addition to Wednesday afternoons, pupils have one or two half days a week off from school. This is the alternance or alternierende Unterricht. Only half of the class goes to school then. This reduces the number of school hours for the pupils and allows the teacher to work with smaller groups. Parents receive the exact timetables before the beginning of the school year. As from the first year of Harmus, there are lessons in ethics and religions. During these lessons that all pupils visit, the children get to know the different major religions. Here, a child may reflect on its own basic values 
and the meaning behind them, while respecting the beliefs of others. The denominational religious education is taken care of by the recognized churches. This is included in the school timetable. Parents may, without needing to state any reason, have their child excused from these lessons. Pupils that do not participate are taken care of by a teacher. School is open to all pupils and responds to their specific needs. In certain situations, specially trained educators support the pupils. You may find more detailed information on this subject in the film about support measures at school. At the intercultural library Livre Change in Fribourg, you may find books for children and adults in over 250 languages. It also proposes various activities for school classes in different languages. The same as at the school or village library, it is possible to borrow books for a given time. As from the third year of Harmos, a child has homework to do for school. Homework is done at home, or, as we can see here, during the hours of supervised homework that are provided by the local village or town and have to be paid for. Homework is based on what has been taught in class. It encourages a pupil to work independently. It also allows parents to see what is being taught at school, to show interest and appreciation for their child's work. It is important that parents and teachers cooperate well together. They meet at least once a year. These meetings allow everyone to express their point of view and to fix common goals together. As from 2018, there will be a parents' council at every school. For multilingual children, it is important that they continue to speak or to read stories in their native language. This is the basis for learning other languages. Lessons of various native cultures and languages take place outside school hours. Your child's teacher can provide you with more detailed information. Once a year, your child will go on a class outing. This excursion will last one or two days and allows pupils to discover another part of Switzerland. School camps of a few days may also be organized during school time. These walks and camps are organized by the teachers and you may be asked to pay for any extra costs. This time spent outside school is an excellent opportunity for developing social skills and for experiencing school in a different way. The first level ends with the fourth harmless year. During these four years a child has developed all the fundamental skills necessary to continue on to the second level of its education with confidence.